What up everybody, this is Felix Rodriguez from PSVideoTut.com and today I'm going to teach you how to have these glow effects. So first we're going to go ahead and duplicate a layer. And uh, what we're going to do here is go to image adjustment and go to human saturation and make this completely black and white. This way the, the glow effect can stand out. And we're also going to go back to adjustments and go to brightness and contrast and raise the contrast level. That seems pretty good. Next, we're going to go ahead and add a mask. You just click this button right here. And what you can do with a mask now is create an area where you can see through. So if you have the brush color to be black and you brush on the mask, then you can see through that. And what's below this image is the color copy of it. So that's what makes this happen. Like You can only see what's selected. And I'm just going to highlight his shirt and his sneakers. Also, if you make the brush white, you can redo what you did. I'm going to fast forward. This way we can save some video time. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and select the pen tool after we create this new layer and we're going to make a path, sort of a, a curvy path. Try to go do the same thing I'm doing this way so we can make the glow wrap around his leg. And to make a curve, after you click, you just drag. Um, I don't like this end of this path, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that by doing Command Z or Control Z that undoes what you did. And now, what you do is you select your brush and you select your brush size. I'm going to make this smaller. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pen tool again, right click, and put Stroke Path. And I'm going to put Stimulate Pressure and leave it at Brush. That way, the brush will just follow that path and after that I'm going to right click and put the lead path and right now I just have this swirly line that's white. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing to the other leg same thing stroke path then I'm going to delete path and now I'm going to do it to his body You can also uh, mess with the brush effect so it can have a different effect while stroking the path. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to blending options. Then I'm going to click outer glow. I'm going to make the glow to be green. and I'm going to put the blend mode to normal. And I'm going to mess with the spread and size setting that way you can see the glow more. That doesn't look glowy. This looks more sort of more glowy. I'm going to switch this blend mode back to screen. I'm going to raise the opacity to 100 and hit OK. What you do now is you grab the eraser tool and you delete part of the path so it looks like it's going around his leg. Let me zoom in here and I am going to delete the top part so it looks like it's wrapping around his leg. I'm going to leave the middle part and delete the third part. See? It's that simple, it looks like wrapping around his leg. For this one, I'm just going to delete the middle part. Or erase the middle part.
I'm going to do the same thing with the glow line that wraps around his body. See, now he's looking all glowy. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to normal. That way you guys can see it better. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the brush. And I'm just going to add like little dots around here and there, different sizes. That way you can see like glow, sparkle, or particles. This gives it a nice neat effect. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Um, visit psvideo.com. This is Felix Rodriguez. Over and out. Peace.